Tonight on Special Assignment, if someone said there's a genetic test that uh, might be able to tell you which sports your kids would be best at, would you be interested? Well, the test is out there, and so is the controversy and questions about it. Tonight, Fox Connecticut's Jim Altman takes a closer look. Michael has to wrestle 12 seconds. Do you think your child has a bit of what it takes to be like Mike? Fire! Yeah. Or to bend it like Beckham? Like Beckham? What a moment to produce a Beckham special. Well, there's a test out there that claims to give you a clue. England take the lead. Here's the pitch. A quick swab of the cheek and perhaps you may know if your little leaguer has big league potential. Or if your son or daughter's hoop dreams can come true. First and third. It is enticing because every parent wants their kid to be the next Derek Jeter. There's been a bit of buzz about a Colorado company called Atlas Sports Genetics and their test. Without getting too biomolecular on you, for 169 bucks, the goal of the Atlas test is to identify variants in what's called the ACTN3 gene. I'm ready to go. Nat Carruthers is Atlas's director of operations. You simply swab the inside of both cheeks and you send it back with a prepaid envelope to us and we then send it to the lab. And then once they analyze uh, the DNA, uh, they then give us the results and we send those on to you. There are basically three results. Is your child more apt for speed and strength sports? Or endurance sports? Or best case, will the test show both? The company says this is one tool parents can use to guide their child towards their strengths. We had 10-year-old Ryan Druckenmiller take the test. Ryan is a Little League All-Star. His father, Gary, is a coach and president of the West Hartford Little League. Peace. Sweet. Did it? I'm joking. A few weeks later, the results were in from the lab, which is in Australia. It revealed Ryan had one copy of the gene with the variant and one copy without the variant. Quite simply, he should excel at most sports. But not everyone gets this result, which opens up a whole different can of worms. We got, I guess, the good grade, um, but I think there's still a little to be figured out, a little to investigate, so I'm glad it came out the way it did, but I think science has to look into it a little bit more deeply. Okay, so here's the Stanford genes talk. We took the test to Dr. Paul Thompson, director of cardiology at Hartford Hospital. Doing this genetic testing for one gene in a very complex organ, the human body, is basically snake oil. Thompson says the science just isn't there yet, that a swab really just scratches the surface when it comes to what sport your child's athletic niche is. It's just like shooting in the dark. You're, as, you're probably just as well off to take and put the gene or the no gene on a dartboard and toss the dart. It's not just getting the gene, but it's getting the gene plus all these other things that affect the gene's expression. You know, it obviously has its limitations, but also what it does, it does very well. Here's one of the biggest things that we're really trying to emphasize with the test is that no matter what comes back, you can still become whatever athlete or play whatever sport you want. It's just simply going to be a piece of information to help you train smarter and train better. The coach's advice? Common sense. And as long as the parents are devoting their time and their efforts towards the child, that at the end of the day is the most important thing. On special assignment, Jim Altman, Fox Connecticut. Hartford Hospital's Dr. Thompson added that the best sport for your child is the one that he or she likes to play. Now, Atlas Sports says their genetic test is only the first step. They have a sister company that offers equipment and training programs to improve athletic performance.